guys, this is me, Fia, back again from Fia's Handmade Soups, and I am back with a cold process um, soup this time. I am doing an oatmeal, milk, and agave soup instead of honey. It's going to be vegan. And um, I already put the, I made oat milk, and I froze coconut milk. So I mixed the lye with the frozen coconut milk in an ice bath, and I added a little bit of oat milk with it. And if you don't know, oat milk is blended oats and water. That's all. Um, and it, it forms this uh, thick, it looks like pancake batter, pretty much. It, exactly, it looks just like it. Um, I have some, stay. I have some right here that I'm going to be adding at Trace. I don't know if you can see. It looks just like pancake batter. <laughs> I usually blend up like it's a cup of water with a fourth of a cup of oats. And I usually put it in one of these containers uh, with the, the seal on it and put it in the fridge for when I'm ready for it. And I mixed and I have my agave, which is four, well, five tablespoons of agave. I messed up and added an extra tablespoon forgetting that I was doing a four pound batch, not a five. <laughs> so I have five tablespoons of agave here mixed with a little oat milk and, and warmed in a microwave because you have, if you're using honey or anything like syrup, and anything syrupy like agave or honey or anything, you have to um, dissolve it in some type of liquid in a microwave because if you just put it right into the soap, uh, you might develop a lot of, like, no, I'm sorry, honey pockets and which could seep out your soap when you cut it. So, let's get started. I have my stick blender here. Got my oils and everything in my pot. I'm going to burp my stick blender. That's tapping it underneath the oil and everything to get the air bubbles out. As many as you can. This is a no color, no fragrance soap. Um, what else was I about to say? I think that was, that was all I probably was about to say. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. spatula so I can scrape down the sides. I think I put my spatula in the sink, so I'm going to have to grab a different one. <laughs> we'll grab this one, this spoon. Looks good. So I decided to use oat milk instead of just dumping the oats in here. I don't know, I just like the idea of it being a little bit more creamy from being blended from the oats and the water being blended up together. Um, you could just dump the oats in itself, but I think doing it that way possibly could uh, make it scratchy for some people. If you just put regular uh, oatmeal in here, and I didn't buy any colloidal oatmeal. I thought at one time that colloidal oatmeal was you taking your own blender or your bullet and taking some oats and grounding it so good that it's sort of like a powder, but that's not true. 
that would just be ground oatmeal. Colloidal, uh, you can't actually make it make yourself. You have to actually buy it because it's a certain process um, in how it's made. So when I read up on it, I child, it was it's a lot to read about. But if you Google or wiki colloidal oatmeal and how it's made, you can't just make it yourself at home because you, it'll never dissolve like colloidal oatmeal, like authentic colloidal oatmeal actually does. So I decided to start doing oat milk instead, instead of buy, having to buy colloidal oatmeal. So it doesn't dissolve, no, but uh, you can, when you make oatmeal, you can, I think the first time I made it, I strained it like four or five times to get so much of the oats out of there because I just wanted the oat milk and just to, like a touch of a touch of the oatmeal, and it actually was pretty perfect. This time I didn't strain any of it. I just I just dumped it all in there. So, and it looks good. It looks like I made a thin trace. So if that's the case. Let's get our agave. Mix with a little um, our agave mixed with a little oat milk. Stir it up. Okay. And I'm going to get the rest of the oat milk. Now all this, even though I'm adding all of this uh, as far as the oat milk, it was discounted in the beginning. I started out with frozen, with a uh, frozen coconut milk. About I did a one to one, as far as you know, uh, one to one ratio as far as uh, liquid lye, and then the rest I added in oat milk. So yeah, the coconut milk was a uh, one to one to the uh, towards the uh, ratio for the lye. Uh, Jesus, I'm saying it all wrong. But sober's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the rest of the liquid is just in oat milk. So I'm not adding any extra liquid. Okay, let's put in the agave. Again, I put my spoon down when I need to be scraping this stuff up. Okay. This is a very simple soap. But the first time I'm actually making this, I've oat milk and stuff before um, I think in a couple soaps but I've never actually made an oatmeal milk and agave or honey soap let's take the blender get some air bubbles out come on air bubbles Oh yeah, okay, so let's get the rest of this oat milk in here before it really starts to seize. Because <laughs> this stuff is so thick. Oh yeah. You want to hurry up and get it in there. But it's good that I'm not doing any extra as far as um, colors or fragrances because, because the oat milk will cause it to get thick. It's like putting thick pancake batter and, you know, your thin soap batter. It will cause it to get really thick. So after we blend this up a little bit, stir it up or whatever, we want to... Um, we want to hurry up and get in the mold. Okay, yeah, because it's already pretty thick. Woohoo! Wow, that's actually changing color. Huh, I wonder if that's from the agave. Oh, yes, yeah, thick. It's seasoned on me. But I think it's just the oatmeal. I don't think it's seasoned. And we want to make sure we get this mixed up real good and then put it, get it into the mold.
starting to look like my uh, pumpkin mixture. <laughs> it turned an orange color. The uh, agave I'm using is, let me get it for you so you can see. The agave I am using is this one. Hopefully it's not a bad glare. Amber raw, blue agave, organic. That's what I'm using. And that's probably what caused it to turn an actual different color. I did not expect this color, Zay Droof. This bad boy is pretty much good. Now, I threw another spatula <laughs> in the sink, so I have to get a different one. I'm going through spatulas here. So when you're done um, blending, you want to scrape down your blender. Get as much of the soap off of it as you can. You don't really want to waste too much soap. I have a cup of water set to the side over here for my blender. And that's what I set my blender in when I'm done using it. Okay, scrape down the sides. Making sure the stuff that's on the sides is mixed in. This is an interesting, these colors are very interesting. There's like a swirl of tan in here from when it started and the um, brownish orangish color from the agave all uh, in here. It's just like swirling in. To you, you probably just look like a, you see an orange or brown blob, but there's color swirls in here. It's really pretty. Okay, hold on guys, my <laughs> uh, tripod is in the way, sorry, sorry, okay, I gotta get my lamp, okay, gotta get the big boy here, okay. all right, this is the five pound wool from Nurture. And I absolutely love it. Uh, I actually wish I would have got the, uh, I think the one with the lid is like the deluxe version or something like that. But I do want to get a few more of these things. I love them. Okay. Let me see if I can actually pour this without a problem. Because I'm using a crock pot because <laughs> I never actually went and bought a, a big bucket. So this is, when I need to make a big batch, this is what I use. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I do need to go get a, um, a soap and bucket because these uh, crock pot inserts are extremely heavy. Soap out of here. Okay. 
Sorry if I'm obstructing, if I'm obstructing your guys' view. I'm sorry. Ah, don't get on the edge there, soap. Uh, I got some cleaning up to do. Mm -hmm. I may have to bang this down too. Pretty color. How I did not expect it though. That's crazy. Ooh. This pot is heavy. Every time I go to um <clears throat> looking about buying the bucket, I was like, eh, I do got my second um insert crock pot thing, um, ceramic bowl. So you know, I don't really need a bucket right now but every time I break this bad boy out to do this and I have to pick it up <laughs> I realize again why I need one so I will get one one day I need to be ordering one right after I'm done this video is what I need to be doing <laughs> I might you never know I've seen a, a couple of them on Amazon. Okay, so let's clean this box up here. I got it all over the box on the table. And this is my sponge dedicated to soap. I don't use it for food or anything, just soap. on top because uh, you don't want the I don't want the oats the big oats clogging up anybody's drain or anything and it afterward after a while they just don't look that attractive to me so hold on let me bang this down guys so after banging that down let's see what we could do with the top I'm just taking a spoon and pushing some soap to the middle. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty simple. Because I am all about simple. If you've watched my past videos, which I actually hope you did, I am not good at the complicated. Not at all. Not at all. I try the complicated. It does not work. <laughs> not for me. So... Simple is definitely best. All you do is just take a spoon and you just push it. Just you're sort of just like scraping, just gently scraping it. The soap to the middle. Yeah, pretty much like that. off the edge. There we go. And voila.
looks good. Let me wipe my hands. Okay. Move this out the way. So you guys can get a good picture of my oatmeal, milk, and agave soup. And the five pound mold from Nurture, Nurture Soup. <laughs> and this is actually a four pound recipe because I, when I did the five pound recipe for this uh, mold, it was just like I had to put some in a separate container. So, yeah, uh, the four pound recipe on soap calc works perfectly with this. Absolutely perfect. Okay. And thank you guys for watching me again. I'm Fia from Fia's Handmade Soaps. Follow me on Facebook. And I'll see you for the cutting. Thanks.